in continuation of discussions of the outcome of the Ondo State Governorship elections. I'm now being joined on the News at 10 by my colleague, Shewo Kimbaloye, who is uh, in Akure, the Ondo State Capital, uh, monitoring everything that has happened so far. We have a new governor-elect in that state. So much jubilation as we saw on the news. You must have witnessed it firsthand. But what more do we know from the second party, the second party in contention, the, the PDP? Have you heard anything from that camp? Because, uh, Gimba, uh, the town has been very peaceful immediately after the uh, election results were announced and the winner has been uh, determined in this election. Of course, uh, a lot of people have ant uh, anticipated that there might be some violence after the election, but that is exactly, uh, it didn't happen. Uh, so it's been very peaceful in town. Security operatives are still very much in town trying to keep uh, the peace of the city. But from the PDP uh, side of things, uh, there was a press conference addressed by the uh, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Yita Ojegede, who had mentioned that there were some issues of inducement of voters, there's some irregularities, the issue of card reader failures. Uh, these are some of the issues that he pointed out uh, when he spoke to journalists earlier today, and some of the grievances that they had that this election should have been postponed in the first place. The election should not have uh, held uh, so that, it, that there would have been a good time given to uh, Mr. Yita Jagede to campaign. He just had about 48 hours before the election, before his name was enlisted on the list. But generally, Gimba, it has been a very, very peaceful uh, moment in Akure, the capital of uh, Ondo State. And of course, uh, INEC has been uh, appraising itself and assessing its performance in this uh, uh, exercise. And and for INEC, uh, it's, it's a success uh, altogether, Gimba. Well, the PDP, can we, let's just focus on them a little bit more and uh, get uh, some more information, if we can, from you, because you are there at Ground Zero. What do they plan to do from now on? Absolutely, uh, absolutely, Gimba. What usually you will find when there is an election and there is a winner uh, that has been announced, especially when another political party is going to be taking over government, what you will find is a transition committee that will be set in place. Uh, that is what we should be seeing in the coming days. Uh, it's been a very sore moment for, for the PDP because they've had an internal crisis that had held the, the, the party uh, sort of in a host stage and uh, we've had two candidates in uh, about two weeks before the election and so the PDP will be internalizing and uh, will have to sit down and look at the situation they entered into and the kind of uh, quagmire uh, that that crisis, the leadership, national leadership crisis that uh, puts the, the branch of the party in the state but largely uh, we should be seeing Mr. Mimiko, the governor uh, in the combat governor and Mr. Uh, Akere Dolu the government-elect putting up uh, their own groups as a transition committee. Great job, Sean Kimbaloy, our political correspondent.